Welcome to the Global Canadian Business Forum and the Canadian Expat, where we continue in our journey speaking with Canadians and Canadian organizations abroad so that we might gain a bit of inspiration, obtain some advice, and perhaps hear a few cautionary tales. Today, we go to Abu Dhabi in the UAE. Abu Dhabi is the capital city of the United Arab Emirates, the UAE. It is also the second most populous city in that country with close to 1.5 million people right behind Dubai. As the capital city, it is also home to the Canadian Embassy and to the Canadian Business Council in Abu Dhabi. My next guest is Gregory Zogby, chairperson of the Canadian Business Council. Gregory, Welcome to the Canadian Expat and the Global Canadian Business Forum. Thank you for having me. Greg, I'm really interested in, of course, the Business Council. That's kind of what the focus of this conversation is going to be. But I'd like to know a little bit about yourself as well, how you ended up in Abu Dhabi. Uh, certainly. Uh, well, I ended up here 11 years ago, um, essentially in 2008. Uh, I was working in Montreal at the time. And uh, my family, we decided to look at our options. We were happy. Uh, but at the same time, well, my wife and I had just gotten married and we had a few global uh, uh, options worldwide. And we decided to maybe take an adventure from Europe to multiple cities in North America to the Middle East. Somehow we landed here in the UAE and it's been since then we've been here for 11 years now. Fantastic. And you're currently, you are the business owner or do you work for a company in uh, Abu Dhabi? Uh, I do. I, I work for a company called L3 Harris Technologies, Inc. Uh, we're one of the largest defense and aerospace companies. And uh, on, on a volunteer basis, I chair the Canadian Business Council here in Abu Dhabi and I've been serving on the board for about four years. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of the CBC or the Canadian Business Council? Absolutely. So the Canadian Business Council was established in 2005 uh, by a group of Canadian uh, business persons. And uh, the whole intent of it was to uh, promote uh, goodwill between Canada and the UAE and bidirectional uh, commerce, commercial ties and investments. Um, in doing so, we have uh, been working closely within the community, the private sector, as well as with stakeholders from the Canadian and UAE government. Um, it, and uh, so it has evolved over the years. Today, it serves a few hundred members. It has a diverse set of organizations and persons who come to, to the Canadian Business Council for networking opportunities, for exposure, for uh, really for all things Canadian. That's amazing. So uh, you said about a few hundred members currently at the CBC? Yes, we have about 200 uh, members. Uh, however, we do attract as, uh, as well uh, many non-members to our events and uh, our activities. Yeah. And the members, of course, they come, they're either individuals or corporates. And from corporates, we have flagship Canadian and non-Canadian names. So what sort of industries would be represented in the Canadian Business Council? Absolutely. So uh, all industries, however, will find uh, that being in Abu Dhabi, uh, the uh, concentration uh, tends to be in the sectors that are uh, key here in Abu Dhabi. For example, oil and gas, healthcare, uh, defense and aerospace, en uh, energy, uh, larger energy even beyond oil and gas, um, education, of course, as well. So I'm thinking about perhaps a Canadian company in Canada not yet moved abroad and is looking for opportunities outside of the country. What sort of opportunities do you think currently exist for Canadian corporations within the UAE, specifically around Abu Dhabi? Yes, uh, there are plenty of opportunities. Um, currently, uh, the UAE actually uh, does a, an amazing job of publishing their strategies and visions and really uh, carrying through and implementing them. So if we look at the UAE vision uh, or even Abu Dhabi economic vision, uh, we'll tend to find uh, what their key objectives and goals are. Uh, and the opportunities on the ground tend to mirror what's published. So we've seen a lot of activities recently in the energy sector. We've seen it certainly in technology. So we're looking at artificial intelligence, uh, even uh, blockchain, uh, fintech. There's actually a fintech conference uh, coming up as well in a couple of days. Actually, I think it's tomorrow. <laughs> um, and um, uh, we have, uh, of course, uh, really 
um, healthcare uh, always is, is a key area in any country in the world, and especially here, as the UAE looks to further elevate even the healthcare, the already amazing healthcare standard they have, uh, and drive efficiencies and implement technologies uh, in this sector. So it's really, I think, um, really there's plenty of opportunities. So what about a Canadian, and I'm just going to put this hypothetical situation out there. If you've got a, a Canadian that's currently living in Abu Dhabi, and I know that there is a fairly significant population of, of Canadian expats in the country. But just saying a Canadian um, that is thinking about perhaps a product back in Canada that they want to bring over to the UAE, would you recommend as a first step to con uh, contact the CBC or where do you think the CBC would play in terms of that scenario? That's an excellent question. And if you look at the whole, um, I mean, when someone's trying to bring a product, you're looking really at a process, the business development process from identifying whether there is really a need or not, and then trying to understand the need and qualifying it all the way until a sale is made. And, and what you've just described to me tells me it's early in the process. There's still uncertainty on whether there's a product or not. And this is actually where CBC tends to add the most value. And the reason, uh, there are multiple reasons we do that. Uh, first, uh, CBC creates lots of exposure. Anybody who comes to CBC or any organization that comes and joins as a member and participates in our events automatically will communicate and get the spread out through our vast marketing channels. Um, and people will start hearing about this product and this company. Uh, and then uh, through CBC as well, we provide networking opportunities. So the person starts really gauging the market and trying to see, well, is there a need here? or not. This is actually one of the reasons why a lot of Canadian delegations, when they come to conferences here, like ADIPEC, which is coming up next month, they end up joining as an offshore member because to them, it's an opportunity to further get the word out and, and test the market. So um, the short answer is absolutely yes. That's where CBC adds the most value. What are your top three pieces of advice for Canadians thinking about doing business in Abu Dhabi or the UAE in general? Absolutely. I think one of the key ones is persistence. Uh, doing business by itself is not an easy task. It requires someone to um, do a lot of activities to qualify an opportunity, develop a relationship, and, and win the business. And it becomes even harder with time zone differences and being in a country that's far away from Canada and with cultural differences, although Canadians and UAE share a lot of uh, values uh, between themselves. Um, so I think persistence is one. Second one is uh, developing relationships beyond just arm's length. If someone is coming here looking just to make a sale and, and, and leave, then that person would not be as successful as someone else who would look at a partnership, long-term relationship. Um, and this is really important in business generally because people do business with the people they like, but it's even more important here in the UAE. Um, and um, uh, the, the third one is really continuing to uh, project Canadian values and be professional and be respectful of the UAE. At the end of the day, um, we, we have to remember UAE is a host nation for us. And we have to continue to respect that and be professional. And that's what they look at, look at us and expect. Because when they see a Canadian, they expect Canadian brand. They, they have an image of Canadians um, being such wonderful, friendly people who are respectful and professional. And we, we must continue to project that image. But what about the future for the Canadian Business Council? What's going to be going on or what do you have in store? Well, uh, the last few years have been really exciting. We have um, certainly elevated uh, the standard of the Canadian Business Council. Uh, we have, hands down, uh, one of, become one of the top councils here in Abu Dhabi. Uh, we have led joint business group forums on behalf of the entire business council community. We have continued, we have elevated the business value of the council, going beyond just networking and social events to do more of business focused seminars that are, I think we have like at least one every week these days uh, on different topics. Um, and we have also even engaged on a more senior level. 
uh, just even Expo 2020, for example, that's coming up in Dubai. We were very much involved with uh, with uh, our sister council in Dubai, as well as the Canada UAE Business Council in creating advocacy for it. So, so what's next? I think uh, success is great, but it's crucial that when, when an organization is successful, then measures are established to ensure that this success is sustainable. So we have to ensure that this continues and continue to, we continue to improve. That's really going to be the focus for 2020 for us. And of course, in addition to be, making sure we do an amazing job on Expo 2020, whenever we're relied upon by, our, by the embassy uh, or the consulate. Gregory, thank you very much for joining me this morning. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. And thank you to everybody watching. If you've enjoyed this, please hit that like button. If you'd like to participate in one of these conversations, please comment below. And please subscribe if you haven't done so also. Until next time. Uh...